Hello, everybody. This is the Dorm Debate Podcast. It is Super Bowl weekend, Super Bowl Sunday, Ugh. Los Angeles Rams, New England Patriots. You know the drill. You know when there's a Super Bowl on, there's going to be a Dorm Debate Podcast. This is a <laughs> given. Much awaited. Much awaited. Uh, highly anticipated. Highly requested. Highly requested. Backed by popular demand. Yeah. All the views on the last... <laughs> All 30 of our views. <laughs> All one like. On it back. Yeah, we just really want to please the people. So, uh, without further ado, we'll just get right into it. Stop beating around the bush. Sure. Uh, I don't know if we had a, a plan for this. I didn't hear it. It's only one game, but I mean... We were just thinking maybe just stream of consciousness what we think about the game coming up, some factors, some X factors, some circumstantial things we can Should just Should I discuss. throw out a question first yeah, to start well, off sure. to get our feet wet a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't think of a question. Does anybody have a question? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, uh, why don't we do what I started last week? Okay, yeah. For the viewers who listened last week, I said that the AFC game, in my mind, and again, this was controversial, I still know it is, but in my mind... I looked at the AFC playoff game between the Chiefs and the Patriots as like the Super Bowl, the pre-Super Bowl. In my mind, whoever won that game was going to win it all versus the Rams or the Saints. Is that just saying? Is that, that still the... true? And your guys, you guys agree or not? Well, are you saying that the Patriots and Chiefs are much better than the Rams and Saints, or the Rams and Saints are much, you're just not good? You know, at the time where it's you know those are the, the before the games happen, they both went into overtime, so obviously they're evenly matched teams. But at mm-hmm. the time, I just saw. How powerful! How powerful that offense on the Chiefs was. I didn't see any of the re- defenses on the Rams or Saints being able to stop them, and the same with the Patriots. Differently, they okay. have Tom Brady, and they're a very disciplined, smart team. That I didn't see any of the other teams, the Rams or the Saints, being more disciplined or, or smarter. And I, I like, I know I don't have. Um, I had some beef with the Saints, but I like the Rams. I like what they got going on. I just okay. didn't see that happening. So in my mind, I felt when the Patriots won. It's oh no, they might get there. So they might really be on the way to the sixth ring. Mm-hmm. So do you do you do you guys believe that? Do you guys agree or disagree? Uh, start us off. Start us off with a question. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Why? Why? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just I was <laughs> you just answering wanted, your oh, question. You just to tell me if you disagree. <laughs> um. Well. To me, I, I don't want to give away my pick, but I guess I'll just should we just, should just, just give it away? Like picks too, yeah. they're gonna subliminally know, and while we're like, <laughs> who's your pick around. for the Super Bowl, Jerry? For we're gonna go right into it. So um, <laughs> the <laughs> reason I right <laughs> the reason I said no was because I believe the Rams are a much better team and no, have don't. been the better team no, this don't whole season, <laughs> and even even <laughs> since the start, even before the season even started. I knew the Rams were going to be here. What? Okay. okay. Dude, Let's everybody see. knew it. Adama Kinsu, Marcus Peters, Hakeem Tlaib, all uh, the players that they acquired. You okay, cannot, yeah, you, but you can right. tell. So let me ask you this. The Patriots beat the Chargers and the Chiefs. Do they not have stellar rosters? They do have stellar rosters. So I'll give you the that. The Patriots but, have beat teams that have great skilled players. But, but, but. But so it's not like they have they none have of Tlaib them and and Peters. None and, of them match up the way the Rams match up with the Patriots. Yes, they do. No, no, the no. Rams have the defense. S- yeah, the Rams. Right, the Rams have the same defense. The Rams have basically the same defense as the Chargers. Not skilled players, but they have a, the the Chargers have Bosa and Ingram, while the Rams have Donald. I mean, they're on the Mel or Ingram and Bosa are on the edge, but they both have pass rushes. Casey Hayward on the outside is kind of like a Tlaib. Derwin James at safety kind of makes up for, like, Marcus Peters. And the Chargers didn't even get a sack on Brady. So Here's they... why. The Chargers are cursed. We haven't <laughs> beat the, we, they haven't beaten the Patriots in God knows how long. I don't even if think they ever, have. Actually. I think the one time they did beat the Patriots, did they ever? Matt Castle was the quarterback. Of the Chargers? Oh. For, no, for the Patriots. Because oh, okay. I think Brady was injured. You're so right. that's the last time they beat the Patriots. So that's just a curse. So <laughs> that the Chiefs, not, that negates the Chiefs. Argument the Chiefs, cannot Chris be, Jones had like 11 the straight Chiefs games with have a sack. A, How did he not have, have a sack? terrible defense. How, terrible how defense. did Chris Jones not have a sack? He had 11 straight games with a sack this Who is, year. Who's Chris Jones? Irrelevant oh, to me. God. Irrelevant. <laughs> I want to hear about Ndamukong I want to hear about 
Potential MVP, Aaron Donald. All right, I want to hear let about me throw out a little leave. stat here. The Patriots. <laughs> you said you didn't find stats. <laughs> well, I always have Our my stats prepared. <laughs> the Patriots have not let up a sack to an interior lineman since week two. I'll give you another That's stat. like 15 games. I'll give you another that stat. That means do- stat, All right, at Tom, maximum, Donald will have one sack this game. That Tom means. Brady hasn't gotten sacked this whole playoffs. Yeah. So, what makes you think all of a sudden it's going to change? That's not going to change. You know why? Because Aaron Donald is a beast that I don't think could be tamed. Well, so he is, is really he's good not too. that good. Oh, he's that good. Come on now. Uh, he did play This really man's well, got over 20 sacks, and he's a D tackle. I, I was amazed in the Saints game to see he's that not, man. He was really He's not really as good, good as you say he's gonna, he is. Keep Tlaib, Marcus Peters. Not one of them is going to be able to shut down Edelman. No, because they don't play the slot. That's the Come that's on. why the Rams are going to lose Come this on. game. You have Tlaib on Hogan, who they don't throw to. So, all right, take Hogan out of the game. Who cares? And then you have Peters on Dorsett. Okay, Brady's just going to throw it to Gronk here's, here's a wild None prediction of them can play you. the slot. No, here's a wild prediction for you. You know what they're going to do? They're going to put Keep Tlaib on Julian Edelman. No, no. <laughs> Edelman will have... Why don't you put Peters on him? He might stop him. Get this. No more, no more <laughs> don't. than six receptions oh this game. Oh, my God. No more than six receptions, not even a touchdown. You're out of you your freaking get, mind You know right who's going to get all the credit? <laughs> or okay. not, not all the credit, all the the passes and whatnot? Yeah, who is? Please tell me. James White and That's Sony a, Michelle. Sony Michelle will not even have ten touches in this game. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Maybe, he's not going to have fifteen. He's, He's going to be on the sideline most of the game. You're why, is see, there an injury I didn't think hear White's about? Do you think or uh, Burkett's going to be in more? Yeah, Michelle tore his AC. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, <laughs> no, he's in on a torn ACL. The Patriots have <laughs> not rushed. Ball. No running back for the Patriots in eight Super Bowls have rushed, has rushed for 100 yards. And especially against the Rams, the Rams shut down Kamara and Ingram. Yeah, the, Ra- the Rams are defeated at the dome. And now again. the Rams are not going to let the Patriots nah. establish a run game. That's why White Edelman's going to have fifteen catches, because they can't put Tlaib or they haven't faced a Peters defense like this. They really haven't. What? They, every defense well, you know, they faced is me, like this. They have nobody the, to cover the slot. That's let, all that matters. Find somebody to cover the slot. Let me go into my pick, because it's relating to your pick. And again, what I said earlier about the AFC. I think they know my the pick right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> bouncing off pick. your thing about the bringing up the cornerbacks. Like, so, <laughs> last week, my initial reaction after seeing the Patriots beat the Chiefs was, oh, the Patriots are probably going to beat the Rams, in my mind. Okay. Yeah. And I'll say... And I, I, I want to make this clear to the viewers. I want the Rams to win. Listeners. At the listeners. Well, if they're watching it on YouTube, it's just a still image. So <laughs> you're, you're stating who you want to win? I want the Rams to win. As an Eagles fan and as a general football fan, I want to see the Patriots win another time. I respect Why? them as a team. They're, they're so disciplined. good. They deserve you know, to. I, I could not like someone to <laughs> win. Spread the wealth, will you? <laughs> yeah, no, if you're that good, like, why not keep But they're going? not. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Wait, so right. who do you think So I is want the Rams to win, but I think, and again, there's some leeway, I'll admit. My initial reaction was the Patriots are going to, like, they're probably going to get it. I was really kind of but sad. now after that. thinking about it. I still think the Patriots are going to get it. But, oh. but dun, dun, dun. what Jared's brought up about the cornerbacks was interesting because, um, I saw a video on YouTube. I forget who it was by what, who it was by, as well as I read some articles. And one of the reasons why Brady doesn't get sacked a lot, and it's still a, 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 give it to the offensive line. They're great. One of the reasons why he doesn't get sacked a lot is how quickly he gets, he gets the, the ball yeah, out. And again, that's part of why you know he gets a lot of short out passes, a lot of over the middle. Like he's just a good quarterback who knows that um, you can't take hits like that. You can't waste time in the pocket. He gets so it off. And like, to, he is like the third lowest. Leave? This is the thing. He has like the third lowest release time. So and then a good O like definitely a great yeah. O line. So he can't take the time if he wants. Um, the thing about the Rams and my initial reaction was the Patriots got it. The Rams have certain pieces that make me believe they might be able to get the things that put Tom Brady not off his game but enough to make him make mistakes. They Part of that is a good D line. Yeah, yeah. That can do stuff. Like you can only hold the tide so much. Like in last year's Super Bowl, all you need is one time to get the quarterback to make but a big the Ram, play. But the Rams the, only have Donald. The Rams have Donald and the Sue. Eagles, they got Sue. Some, the they Eagles got some had like five guys that could They get got the good outside red rushers too. But what's important oh. is um <laughs> the, what's important is on the D line. They have to have a good D line, right? Okay. But with the cornerbacks, the, one of the things that the what the Rams should be focusing on, at least from what I've seen, is um is having cornerbacks who are good at playing man to man. 
being able yeah, to disrupt the timing of the route so that that 2.3, 2.5 second release. You have to get release, up on him fast. Right. It's not even – I think the receivers are going to have a big game. And, again, that's part of why I'm leaning towards the Patriots. And I've, heard, I've read that their Patriots might look to exploit the space over the, the middle linebacker and below the safety. Because, um, again, that's what they did against the, the Chiefs a lot with I think, Edelman a ton. Yeah. They just couldn't stop them. But – the Rams, that what's different is that they have Tlaib and Peters, who are good man-to-man, to disrupt on the line, to disrupt that timing, and maybe give... It's not even getting sacks, but getting Brady uncomfortable and under pressure. And with those pieces, I, I'm starting to lean toward maybe this could be a defensive game, and um, Bill Belichick's a defensive-minded coach. He's the head coach, but his defense is a strong for, his forte. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see what the pieces that the Rams have... I want to say they might have a chance. I'm still leaning to the Patriots because I just don't see them. They're, they're a great team, and um, they don't need the talent or the, all the names across the board to, to beat. Like the Chiefs, I think had more pro ball player, and they might have a more pro ball. They might have more names at least. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, by far. Patriots are a disciplined, smart team, so I yeah you know, I give them that. But the Rams, I've started to see over the last week, they have pieces that makes me think like they they, they can do it. It's but it's. Would you put Talib or Peters on Edelman? That I don't because know. Because you know, neither of them could play the slot. At that point, you have to put Tlaib and Peters on other guys and then double Edelman. I think with the Rams, I mean... They're going to neutralize coach, Edelman right off the bat. You th- I don't think they're that smart. He I don't think they're that smart. Here's the other reason I think How come the, the Chiefs didn't do it? Dude, because they're not Sean McVay. Sean McVay, man. He's offensive-minded. He Doesn't oh, do he's doesn't do defensive stuff. He's overall... What the Rams minded. can't do is come they on. can't, they can't come play on the Patriots Come game. on now. You know he's offensive minded. He's offensive minded, but he's an overall. Well, what Wade Phillips? Genius. Wade Phillips is the defensive corner. Is that right for the Rams? That's another yeah. thing. Wade he's, Phillips. He's been good. very pretty well uh, off against the Patriots. Yeah, that's true. Which is it, that's another thing I've read is that he wasn't selling his secrets other than like maybe listening to Romo during the during the commentary <laughs> to know. But he was. I mean, see, I don't know much about the coaching backgrounds. That's something as a modern, just a normal football viewer, I don't know. But I think he's had some success against the Patriots as a defensive guy. Yeah, I, I think um, <clears throat> another reason I think the Rams are going to win is the Patriots have had a lot of uh, coaching advantages. Chargers, Chiefs, a lot of coaches. Like, <laughs> like they're not as good coaches on the other hand. Yeah, they always, what? They always have. <laughs> you no, don't think Andy Reid is good? Not as good as Bill Belichick. And you think and McVay Bill? is as good as Belichick? No, overall. Exactly. Overall, overall. You got Josh McDaniels in the offense, and then you have Bill Belichick. What coaching staff is as good as the Patriots? The Rams. <laughs> oh my God, you're talking crazy right now. This is the time where the student surpasses the teacher, oh my God. and a new era begins. All right, let's, let's, Sean McVay. Why don't we talk about who your pick is, and then we'll go into the question of legacy, like what this could mean. Oh for my gosh, teams. okay. So, so, I'm, I'm curious I just pick who is winners, your pick. and the winner is the New England Patriots. <laughs> Let's not forget who was perfect <laughs> in the Super Bowl prediction. Moi. Uh, yeah, but you're Rams, talking. Patriots. You're talking like emotion right now. Emotion. All right, why, the pa- why you... the Patriots? Why the Patriots, John? <laughs> okay. So the first reason why the Patriots will win is because the color of their jerseys is white. <laughs> <laughs> you said this last year. And, <laughs> and tw- in twelve of the last fourteen Super Bowls. The team wearing white has won. That's not a coincidence, folks. Well, not last the year. The refs see white better. <laughs> you said last year. Wait, hold on. Last okay, year. last year. Who cares? Plus, uh, the Rams walked to their uniforms. Why did the refs? Year. The refs last week they gave a lot of calls to the Rams, right? Including that late one. What color were they wearing? White. It was Thank so long you. ago. I don't. Uh, remember, they gave a lot of calls to the Patriots, including the coin toss. To start okay. overtime. Okay, we're the, the away team. So basically, cannot no. be saying the color of the shirt determines the coin toss. No, but it could. <laughs> I mean, there's why. Oh, how, is he wearing white? Let me let me just make sure yeah, I adjust this coin look, correctly. We, I mean, all right. Anyway, how there's no co- how could that be such a coincidence? Anyway, Brady and the Patriots are six and zero against playoff teams this year, regular season and postseason, and I see this game similar to the Chargers and Chiefs. The Chargers have stacked players, skilled players. So do the Chiefs. Not so do the Rams. Coaching, the Chargers, Chiefs, and Rams have the best lineups in, they have in the least. They have at least a smart, intelligent Andy coach. Andy Reid is smarter than Sean uh, McVay. 
Well, no, Mahomes, so Mahomes Andy Reid's a great a coach, but Mahomes, the defense in the Chiefs Mahomes game is comes down to a coin toss in the overtime. Like that was after, but it's a team game, right? And the, I think the overtime. We're gonna have to get into the overtime rule. So keep going, yeah, keep let's going. go into it's, overtime. I, know, I, hate, I hate overtime. It's, it's a team game, right? Right. So, in the case of Mahomes and the Chiefs, so you have a really good quarterback and not a good defense. So why should the Chiefs? Have another chance to get the ball. Let's say, let's say we went by college rules, and Mahomes got a chance, and he eventually beat Brady in the overtime or whatever by scoring an extra touchdown. Mm-hmm. Why should the Chiefs go to the Super Bowl when the Patriots have a better overall team? The Chiefs just have a really good offense, and their defense sucks, but their offense is so like that's not that fair. Goes it's into, a team game. That goes into your like maybe you're right in what an overall team is, but that doesn't mean you win the game. Like who? That's why I think over time the rules as they are now are, in my defense as a football fan, I don't know why so many people defend them. When, in all honesty, they're made so that uh, at the end of a football game it doesn't mess with the next show in the lineup. Yeah, so that's every other part. The big so the argument, yes, yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's the heart so of it. So sixty see, minutes has got to get a lot. <laughs> right, gotta get their full sixty. No one gives they a get shit. fifty-eight minutes. They're gonna sue somebody. <laughs> right, and so like the whole argument. I don't see why so many football fans are like, oh well, it's it's a it's a two. It's like in every part of the of the game of football, there's an offense and defense, and they both play a factor. Yeah. And over time, there's too much power in the flip of coin toss because every other part of the game is determined by one thing. And that's the time. Who has more points at the end of the time? Uh, and, then, and now in overtime, it comes down to at the flip of the coin. If you score, it, yeah, there's there's a time limit in overtime, but it, it doesn't. You win if you score first. But mm-hmm. every other part of the game but, is determined by fifteen minutes. But quarters. the NFC also went to overtime, and the Saints won the toss and got the ball and threw an interception and lost the game. So mm-hmm. it's not every time. I mean, the, the the Rams player did get in there to tip the ball, and the guy, and then another player on his team came up to intercept it. So yeah. that like it, their defense did step just, up. So the like, rules <laughs> aren't designed. They're designed to end as quickly as possible. Like you know, if you get a turnover, you just get a field goal, mm-hmm. and it's it, it's quick football. But and you're and like they, when the other team gets an interception, then the the whole debate of like well the. And the same thing we're seeing with the Chiefs and the Patriots. Like Mahomes, if Mahomes wins that toss, so the question is now is, like most a lot of people would say he's getting, he's scoring that touchdown and winning the game. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he never touches the field in overtime as like a, a quarterback that good, it's not his fault that he chose heads or tails. It just comes down to it's a time decision made by the networks, you know. And um, I, I think maybe this, there should be a change in the in the uh, in the future. Um, yeah, Roger Goodell has got to do something. Because it's just money. It, honestly, is what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, but, you know, but at the end of the day, those teams won the games. and It was a, good, it was a weird a weird weekend <clears throat> of football to watch. But, um, right, wait, so you're going back. So you say the Rams, <laughs> the, the Patriots. Patriots. Right. But I have a question to pose to both of you. So when the Rams and Saints game ended two weeks ago, the opening line was that the Rams would be favored for the Super Bowl over the Patriots. So my question is to you guys. Should Belichick and Brady ever be underdogs, ever? Well, you like know, ever again. It's interesting you bring that up because I remember after because we were watching the game for the for the listeners at home, uh-huh. um, and within minutes there was that stat they were like one point the Rams were one point yep. five favorites mm-hmm. in, in gambling. However, the yeah. gambling I don't gamble. You know they're favorites. Um, I read later because the first people to open that that became the headline right after the game ended. That um, well the Patriots game once they knew who the Super Bowl lineup was yeah. that. Within like hours of that, it went heavily into the Patriots' favor because and now, everybody was taking that. And now it's all the casinos are like they're heavily, I think, four to five point favorites for the Patriots. Yeah. So that I don't, I mean, in this scenario, I don't know if they can say they're underdogs. Like they might have less talent, but when you're that good of a team, and they're a great team, don't get me wrong, and they they deserve they are a respectable team who's gotten there with hard work and and mm-hmm. you know by sometimes being smart and working harder. Um, I. It, and it's not just spread, but in this case, they're two evenly matched teams. I don't know if anyone's an underdog. It's just, it's a it's just two good teams. One might have certain advantages, but I know in terms of spread, I think the Patriots have a bigger advantage yeah. now than it was like fifteen minutes right after but the end. If the Patriots, if the Patriots, let's say after the Super Bowl, let's say going into next year, the Patriots get rid of Edelman, they get rid of Gronk, Gronk retires, they get rid of James White. And then the Chiefs sign Antonio Brown and like Jalen Ramsey, and then the Patriots played the Chiefs. Like, would you? 
in the AFC Championship, like, would you still put no. Brady and Belichick? You can't have them as underdogs. You have you? them as underdogs against the Rams. Oh, my believe, God. <laughs> believe that. But if the Chiefs get Antonio Brown and Jalen Ramsey, but, like, it does not so if, many but things. They, it's oh, the coaching. That is the problem. Well, like, if the Chiefs were to move, <laughs> if they played in Week 10 and the Chiefs were 0-10 and the Patriots were 10-0, and I would not say that the Patriots were underdogs like it's circumstantial you know oh, yeah. even because in this scenario they're 0 and 10 the chiefs with these famous players what if the know? patriots are 0 and 10 and they play like i don't know i just think people want to be underdogs after last year's and it's just yeah the, the reality is they're two great teams they're two really good teams um, yeah. and it's just pick one over the other who do you want to win they're underdogs against certain teams well like nfc okay. east teams. nfc east <laughs> that's oh wait yeah and the so Rams. Let's, let's bring that up again so Brady is, has lost three Super Bowls, all the NFC East yeah, teams. So yeah, yeah. how come you think that the Rams will just channel their inner NFC East and <laughs> win? Like, Brady doesn't lose if they're not from the NFC East. Every team that he's faced in the Super Bowl, why, why did the Eagles win? Let's go Let's go to that. Why did the Eagles win? Why? 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 No, the why? Sole Coaching. Reason, the Coaching. sole reason is because they were aggressive. Yes. In their and who decide home. Exactly. Coaching. <laughs> But coaching Sean beats. McVay is not that You'll aggressive. See. Bet. Bet. Well, no, <laughs> bet. <laughs> bet. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, we should, we should uh, make – if is there going to be a fake punt in the, in the Super Bowl? Because the Rams have done They that. won't even need it. Uh, no, they'll be up. There yeah. won't be one. Yeah, they'll, they'll be, be up I think so there will. Well, I'll say there will be. Because in that stage, the Rams have done it before. and I, If they're down, yes, but they won't. Yeah, I, think, so. I mean, if it's close, to go for the it. The Rams will not trail this whole game. Right. Okay. <laughs> now you're just spitting stupid shit. I think you're you're underestimating the Rams a lot. The Rams you're do not. I think you're comparing not, too much to the Chiefs. So you're like, oh, the Patriots beat mm, the Chiefs, and oh, they the Patriots beat the Chargers, but they all never had the the triple threat. Let's talk about you the know, Rams. Chargers had you know offense, defense, but coaching was terrible. Chiefs yeah. had offense, no defense, little coaching. Rams okay, have well, all defense, broad strokes all offense, and phenomenal coaches, <laughs> okay. revolutionary coaches. That I don't think, yeah, but Goff is uh, he lines up under center. He's not a guy. All right, so let's just say scenario here. There's five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Rams down by ten. Rams have the ball on their own twenty, so they need ten points in the last five minutes. I don't think Goff can stand back there in shotgun two straight drives, and get a touchdown one of them and a field goal the other. He's just not that yeah, but good. You They're going to have to be You leader. saw him in overtime when he had pressure and he made yeah, those really nice That throws. was the best game I've seen him play against yeah, the he Saints. Did, he, he that was really good. good. I was impressed as well. That if he really plays good. that well, they could definitely have a chance. Yeah, I don't think he will. That's the fact. That's one of the me. factors. Because if Goff plays as well as he did last week and, and he's a capable yeah. player, that does change a lot of what the commentary is up leading up to the game. Yeah. Because like play, like any court, it's just it's a game of football. If he's on, if he's on, he's on. You know. Yeah. And again, we should consider the the run game for the uh, Rams. So that'll be interesting. To yeah. See. Here's the other thing: Will is the Patriots <clears throat> try for the Rams to win. Or? They need they need Gurley to be a hundred percent. Yeah. They need to use. If he's not a hundred percent, it's going to throw off. CJ Anderson's impressed me because in my mind he did. He's, he did. he's changed a lot as a player is what I've seen over the years. And this year I see him really kind of blossom into some a really good power yeah. back. But can the can the Rams win the Super Bowl you without using Gurley? Like he only had four touches last week. Can they use him? Can they win the Super Bowl without using him? Like they're gonna have but, to use him. I don't think they could really He win. got less touches. If he's hundred percent Anderson was playing really well. Anderson was playing so well that I Do you ride hot hand or do you try to get Gurley as involved as If he's hundred percent. If Gurley tells you I'm not fully healthy, then you don't, you don't start him. But if he is, I wouldn't even play him. What if he? What if Gurley's a hundred percent? But then you see in the first quarter, Anderson seems a little bit better. Do you just like keep rolling with Anderson? Well, yeah, yeah. You go both. with use both. Oh, what's wrong with that? You know, like change it up. Maybe. Yeah, but if you see someone's playing better, then you would. I would lean towards him, obviously. But like, yeah, Gurley is is a freak athlete. So just give him the ball as much as you can. But he's a, yeah. We can't forget how good Gurley is when he's healthy. Cause exactly. It's easy to think. Like, and when he's not, a while. He's totally different. He, if I'd like to see the Rams, and this is kind of going older school, but to see a team, for, for like it seems in the recent years, it's especially after last year's Super Bowl, it's all about like who can go shot for shot, like gunning down the field. 
passing. It'd be interesting to see a defensive game. Who's a better defensive team in coaching? But also uh, the the adage that run game you need a run game to win games. You know. Mm-hmm. So if if the I know the Patriots have sometimes let teams get big rushing yards, but the Rams I'd I'd, I'd like to see them use power backs just kind of shove it down the throats of the Patriots. It'd be interesting to see that just. Mm-hmm. And when everyone's thinking you go, you throw it high or something, you start getting short five yard, just kind of um, death by a thousand cuts with these little runs by C.J. Anderson and Gurley. They can totally yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. And you know we can talk a lot about zone and man for passing, but when it's a run, it's just your line and the backers versus your running back with some momentum. And you know that's a just comes down to toughness of defense. So I'd mm-hmm. like to see that. See the Rams do a lot of running this Super Bowl. Again, I don't know, but um, especially because it is the Patriots. But yeah. that'll be interesting to see because I mean Anderson is has if Gurley's that good and we're saying Anderson's playing better. You imagine both playing a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, that's something. You know, even better than Ingram and Kamara in in hypothetical in the hypothetical. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. But let's just remember, you know, Nickel Ro- Roby Coleman who got the flag on uh, on in the Rams Saints game. He's the slot cornerback. He's going to be covering Edelman. He's just going to take either Edelman's going to catch so many passes, or he's going to get a lot of pass interference. There's just no way you can cover him. The the Rams coaching is way too smart to let oh let Edelman gosh. do do that. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, this is the first time he's, the Rams are playing the the Patriots. Patriots right? are too good to let their you know they're going to find a way to, to to bleed you. You know they're going to find the weak points of the Rams defense and exploit that until the Rams. Uh, adapt or die. <laughs> the know? Rams. The this is the first time the Rams are playing the Patriots. The first time the Rams played the Saints. Michael Thomas. Everybody knew before that game, like before their Week Six game, that Michael Thomas was the only one breezed through to, and he still got two hundred eleven yards. But then the second time they versed Thomas, they they reacted. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. I'm I'm worried that they won't game plan for Edelman until he beats them. Nah, they no, got, they no. have to. I worry a little if I'm the Rams about Burkhead. About Amendola, I mean, is Amendola, you know? No, he's on uh, Miami. Yeah, sorry. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, Gronk's there too. We haven't talked about Gronk. Yeah. Um, I think that's who they're gonna have. Just to the go other, to. other players. We're thinking of Edelman because last game Edelman had a great game, but the, the the Patriots are experts at using all their talent. Yeah. So I mean, it. I could see it coming from somewhere else. Those yards. Yeah. Once they have great players. Once they shut down Edelman, then their their second oh, thing. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be, you know, going to the backfield and yeah. whatnot, yeah. But you got to look for Gronk on the outside on one-on-ones oh, when yeah. it's, like, third down because they love going yeah. to him one-on-one. If he's lined up outside, you got to watch. Uh-huh, yeah. So that's another thing you have to look for. I, I, I honestly don't see Edelman being a factor oh, at all. At all. Maybe. <laughs> what? He's a good Maybe receiver. on a couple, you know. Catches here and there. You know he's. But on third down, no chance. No what? chance. He's getting. He's the gonna ball. complete at no. least catch at least four, probably five first third down. down. They make sure one hundred percent. They quadruple team this man. Because you know a thousand percent, it's a slant to Edelman. Wade up the Phillips middle. is not that smart. Come on. He's a good. He's a good quarterback. You gotta respect him. Well, three of us saw. No, it's it's interesting. Great. This is gonna be a game of third downs. I think it could be. That's true. That, that actually is true. Good defense. Defense. Patriots had so many third downs. Right, and, and they all the went Rams. to Edelman or White. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. every no, time. The Rams' defense on third down is actually very efficient at stopping offenses. Now the Patriots are unique. The Patriots in the postseason are sixty percent on right. Third so down. it's like that's the that an unstoppable force, a movable object. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. gonna be interesting to see what these teams adapt because. Leading up to it, they they seem to have really smart coaches. They can't do the same things they've done all season. So part of it's becoming, I think a big part, is who's smarter this game, who can adapt quicker and mm-hmm. be smarter. And then just general, who's tougher. You know, watching these games, it come, the toughness, it's football. You know, you can't forget that if the Rams go out there and get in their heads like, oh, we're playing the Patriots, they're on their eighth Super Bowl, that's when you lose games. But it's like crazy. Chargers. You're right, right. Chargers mm-hmm. mentally looked out of it. But if like that's mental toughness. It's the... the Toughness of um, the the uh, of uh, the Rams going in there and they're like, yeah, we might give up yards. So we might give up a lot of yards to Edelman. That's kind of my thing. He's like, he's such a good player, Gronk and all the other guys. They're gonna get yards, but yards doesn't translate always to touchdowns. If you lead it to third, so three field bend, goals, but don't break, kind of. No, nah, make them adapt to be aggressive. I, I, this is the, what the I mean. The uh, Eagles did last year, but and, and I think the Giants did when they beat them. Uh-huh. Is to make the like, stick to your game. Stick to your game plan. A lot of teams will go against the Patriots 
and get in their head. Um, I think back to when Jacksonville played, I think, last season against the Patriots, how they kneeled it at half when they could have gone for like maybe a field goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In those teams, they play not to lose. I've said this before. They play not to lose. Rams should be playing to win. Make them react to you. They're a great team, so they're going to bite back hard. Um, and again, that's kind of why the Ram- the Chief Patriots have experience in this, which is why I'm leaning towards them. But but for the Rams to win, they got to be tougher. They got to they got to go man or so punch you, for punch. So you still think the Patriots will win because you don't believe that what you're saying the Rams will actually do. I'm saying they should do this. If, they, they, if, they, if Sean McVay is listening, don't think they right will. now, sir. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> oh, yeah, they they wait for our podcast <laughs> yeah. and then they hear what we have to say. Cover Edelman if yeah. you want to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Edelman in each of his last eleven postseason games, which is covers like a bunch of seasons, he's been targeted at least ten times. Ten times. So I said no more than six receptions. <laughs> he's gonna get at least ten catches for a hundred percent fact. Like, all right. Let's, so yeah, let's wrap things up a wee bit. All right. <laughs> so let's just clarify where we stand in okay. the Super Bowl. I have the Rams. John. Score? Any score? Uh, so, so um, score. High or low? I, yeah, I would say it's... I hate to say it, but I think it's... Yeah, it's going to be low scoring. It's probably going to be like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like a 28 to 21 type deal. Or 24 okay. to 28, something like that. It's going to be a low scoring, obviously. Yeah, I got low scoring. I got Patriots 20, Rams 17. Yeah. Hmm. This, this disgusts me to, to guess this. But I, yeah, my thing is the Patriots. <laughs> I still, it. but 33-31 Patriots. Thirty-three. How are they going to get to thirty-three? Whoa, wait! <laughs> I mean, it's always away. The math, you know. Uh, <laughs> they're going to get like six field goals. Get a safety right out the bat. That's how you start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I just think of numbers. But the, how close it can be, and again, I want the Rams to win. So you know, maybe that thirty-three becomes the Rams. Right now, it, it just I don't, you know, I don't want the Patriots to win. I All right, but I'm so now I will, so. let's move to just quickly pick an impact player and a bold prediction to finish yeah. off. Yeah, uh, so bold prediction, Edelman will be neutralized. Neutralized <laughs> meaning... Less than six. In, just, uh, six or less? Yeah, six or less, just non, n- not important to the game. You, you won't even notice he's in the game. That Like that. <laughs> You, you, Dude, like the Chiefs, what? you could tell it was like, oh, third down, going to Edelman. Go better. You're gonna be like, where was Edelman tonight? You didn't even hear his oh name my called. Gosh, I can't believe you're so saying that. So that's you that's, don't that's like my this bold man. prediction. How is this coming out of your mouth right now? I, I, I like Edelman. I like the Rams this, defense even more. Is that, that just you? tells no. me how much you believe in this Rams <laughs> defensive coach. They have the triple threat. There's no there's no weaknesses. <laughs> so impact okay. player. Impact player. So not in, not. Impact player or MVP, Sean McVay. <laughs> no, I'll go the player. Um, I think Donald. Okay. I think if Donald wow. has a good game, okay. yeah, it's gonna be tough if he gets any sacks, any, any pressure. pressure, any pressure, pressure is what we want to see is more. Because I don't think it's the Patriots line that is great, but it's the speed that Brady gets the ball out. I think it's both. So I see, I see what you're saying. So Donald has to get through the line first, but also. With the cornerbacks they have, it's going to take a little extra time to find the open receiver. And Donald having that little extra time, I think, in the way he is, just as an elite athlete, he's that one player that I think if is he if he's going to get to the quarterback in two seconds, yeah, you know, I would bet Donald one hundred percent. That's one of the X factors that I have. Hmm. You can go ahead. All right. Um, is it one for each team or just in general? Just, just in one. general. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is kind of not informed, so uh, I'm just gonna pull this out of nowhere. But the the I don't even know his name, but the tight end for the Rams is it Everett? Or yeah, something? Everett. Um, mm-hmm. I I think, and this is kind of my what I like in in quarterbacks, but um, they're really important on third down, in my opinion. The tight end mm-hmm. position just can get that third down for conversions. Uh, it, I'd like to see golf hit him a lot and to just kind of to drive down the field using him more than we've seen in a couple games than the than the receivers. Mm-hmm. So that's that's my bold. If that's, if that's bold, is okay. I don't even know the full name. Bold. But yeah, I think <laughs> Gerald Everett. Just calling it out. Yeah. So, so he's your impact. What's your, he's the impact. What's okay. your bold what's prediction? Your bold? Any, anything crazy? All right, bold All right, bold prediction. This is okay. I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give this some structure before my bold bold prediction is Tom Brady is 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 the factor here. So like we're going into this. Is it that bold? 
<laughs> <laughs> if he plays bad, is is the bold? Not oh. not like terrible. Like so Tom Brady costs just a game. Yeah, like kind of like he's gonna play great. He's, like, he's a grifted. I like and that. I bring this up. Addiction. He's I, gonna be the last person to touch the ball for the Patriots. <laughs> oh god! Just like and the Eagles, well, he fumbled assumption. the ball against the Eagles. Yeah, either fumbled or And not to like, I respect Brady as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's he's great. But you know, um, but just some things I've seen this season. And again, they win the Super Bowl. It goes out the window. But some things that kind of surprised me, and I've mentioned to you guys this a, a couple times, but um. That the Patriots has lost weird games where I forget who was against, but they were the Patriots were in the end zone, like in the twenty yard line, and Seahawks. Brady Brady threw it yeah. to the end zone three times and it went over everyone's head and I think oh they lose it. Steelers yes yeah Steelers Did they yes. lose that game and, and they yeah. ended up right. losing it and so that's yeah, just that was just strange because Brady in the end zone in the fourth quarter you know he's gonna score but in that case I was like okay it, it happens to even the you know uh-huh. mm-hmm. um, but uh, and then there was the game with Miami the, the crazy. Uh, Grunk, tr- like stumbling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And it's, it just seems some weird, like, okay, those are kind of circumstantial, kind of but they're weird to bring it up, but just it's been a weird season of weird losses for the Patriots. Mm. And it just the bold prediction is what if that weird loss is in the Super Bowl? And Bad I mean, they're luck. really disciplined, but that's just, you know, that, if it's bold, it's bold. You know? okay. It's bold to say Brady Walsh. I do, I do like, like that it's a possibility. It's like, a possibility. Tom Brady costs in the game. It's a like possibility. He tries to do too much. He's getting a little cocky recently. You know, he's like posting on Instagram a lot, and then he's <laughs> yeah. doing a lot of quotes. He's like not, he's he not won't like, help. He won't give tips to I'm Jared the Goff. Baddest motherfucker. Yeah, like, I've <laughs> yeah, never seen him this home. vocal yeah. after a win in a long I time. He's I pursuing think. legacy to get that six, like to be on Jordan's yeah. level. Yeah, and I think. I mean, Jordan. I don't know. I'm going to touch Jordan Brady, but like that's. I, I mean, you're right. I mean, I agree. You like to see the pride comes before the fall. You know, who goes over any stats? It's just that idiom mm-hmm. for that saying. But um, mm-hmm. what's your what's your bold? So impact? my impact player, Julian Edelman. <laughs> 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 He's gonna have at least ten catches, oh, probably shit. twelve or thirteen, and over a hundred yards and a touchdown. Oh. My bold prediction. So you know how last Super Bowl, uh, Belichick uh, benched Malcolm Butler. Oh, yeah. So I think that this He's game, gonna Belichick's going to bench, bench Tom Brady. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no that's stupid. Ryan that's the Hoyer is my yeah, impact yeah, yeah. player. <laughs> we, we saw what Foles did, and we yeah. want to prove We want to see it. if our backup can do that. No, but my bold prediction is that you won't hear Aaron Donald's name. What the hell? Are you all. just contradicting everything <laughs> no, I, I just honestly, said? No, I <laughs> What are, what, are that actually, what are Jared's points? I didn't points think about that, but that's opposite. just how it worked out. Everything that I just said, is, he just went straight against Because <laughs> you roasted him for saying Edelman would not be a factor. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I really think Donald, at m- absolute maximum, one sack. Absolute maximum, he's not, like, two pressures. He's not even going to... Two? I'd be surprised if he two? touched Brady twice. <laughs> Drake... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised if he touched Brady twice. Wow. Maximum one what, sack. What I don't even think he'll have any. The what twice is like slapping him on yeah. the butt after his yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. That's going <laughs> to be the, the other twice. one be roughing the passer when he just like taps him yeah. on the chest. <laughs> like when he brushes his shoulder, they're like, that's head, that's head the, or yeah, neck that's contact. That's the closest you're, you're getting to Brady. the first. <laughs> Let's just hope this game isn't oh, like yeah. the Chiefs and Patriots where we were trying to keep track of which team needed to get the <laughs> which next Which team call. had the advantage? That's because, the no, because the refs had to get together at some point and be like, all right, so wait, so you Who do has the Chiefs it? have the next one? Chiefs and, have the next okay, call. Okay, okay, Chiefs yes. do. And then they're yeah. like, yep, the correct time is four minutes and 20 seconds. We're like, bullshit. We all, <laughs> we all know you were just discussing who gets the next uh, call. We, we are playing football. <laughs> Let's just agree. That's okay. the X this factor. is the AFC championship. Is, <laughs> that's the X factor across all of us is the refs. Because the Rams, Saints, obviously. Remember, not even talking about remember that. Last, remember last podcast, the last thing I said was watch out for the refs. Between well, they were, these games, because well, there, there could be some fishy things. That's the uncontrollable factor. Yeah, that we can't even. You gotta get some veteran. How and no matter what happens, you just gotta say deal with it. I hope it's a game of yeah. football and not penalties. Yeah, you know, because that that was it was a, it was a crazy ride as a as a weekend or last or two weeks ago with, with all the championships. But yeah, come on, it's football. It's I like, hope with all my heart for the <laughs> NFL and its sake that 
this Super Bowl does not come down to a call within the last two minutes. Yeah, but it's, honestly, yeah. when two minutes is left, everybody's going to be looking at the refs because I just yeah. hope I would watch out for just a crazy, stupid call that they blow. That'll be, yeah, who knows how crazy. After the Saints, I mean, maybe they'll try to up, try to go uh, higher this time. Make it, <laughs> Make it worse. We're already going to lose More our jobs. So yeah. <laughs> Let's just go yeah. down. So. <laughs> All right, last All right. last question before right. we peace out. All right. Yes or no, is this Brady's last game? Win or lose, is this Brady's last game? Jared. I mean, I can't go against his word. <laughs> so, so, no, it's not his Because he game. said himself that's 100% so chance he doesn't no, come back. So if he loses, no, but win, yes, he's done? In my opinion, I'm going to stick to it. Um, if he wins, it's done. Really? Okay. He's done. It's over. <laughs> then once Tom Brady leaves, then it'll be Belichick, and then Gronk, and the slowly. The yeah. end of... If Brady leaves, Gronk's gone. For well, sure. I think. Yeah, Gronk, of course. I think Gronk, if they win, might leave. Brady. Okay, yeah. to answer your question. I don't. Brady's no. Brady himself said he has like a zero yeah. percent chance. Yeah, I can't go against his word. Yeah. Yeah. Unless like I might have to call up his wife. <laughs> Unless there's like an injury in the, in the Super Bowl where it's like he's out for nine months. Yeah. He's com- I think he's coming back. Yeah, I think he's um, coming back. But yeah, and he said himself. So, but it's interesting to see Gronk. I don't, I don't, I don't know if Gronk comes back if, yeah. if he wins it again. Because he said, yeah, if they win, been... I think Gronk retires. That I could see more. Brady, I don't think so. But Gronk, it's. I mean, he was. This, mm-hmm. it's, I feel bad. He was talking about how his body's taken. It's a tough game, you know. His body takes hits, and yeah. it, you know, we're starting to know the health issues, and I can see him making, you know, ending on top. You know, why risk it again? Here's a better season? question. Wait, wait, wait. Yes or no for you? Uh, no, Brady comes back. Okay. No matter okay. What. okay. Here's a better one. Is this the last time the Patriots will be in the Super Bowl? Oh, get your mind on head. <laughs> get your head on right. They oh, almost shit. lost to the Chiefs. The Chiefs are on the rise. What's the Patriots are on the you? fall. What did you eat for dinner? Well, now, now the division is ground, <laughs> <laughs> ground turkey? It was ground turkey. What did you eat? I think that's no, a valid argument. No, you're no, arguing no, that that's a valid argument. The, the, the first division. you say that the Rams have as good of the coaching staff as the Patriots. Then you say that... Donald is the best okay. player in the game. They're on then the decline, and then they're on the rise. That's an interesting, it's an, okay, I don't, I don't think I, I can't say definitively it's their last because they're so good. But I, your argument that the division uh, or the whole AFC is improving after many years of kind of not being as good as the NFC, yeah. that is something that I mean for years pa- people uh, the Patriots have made it their good team, but that's been the argument that their AFC is not as weaker than NFC. So if their division gets stronger and the other competitors, that, that's. It'll be harder than it's been, and we'll you know, see yeah, I, I don't know. So my answer to your question is no. <laughs> it's not the last time they're going to be at the Super Bowl, but I'm standing by my pick that I made two weeks ago, <laughs> that next year in the AFC Championship game, the Chiefs will beat the Patriots. So maybe two years from now, but oh, not okay. next year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. All right, All right, folks. We gotta end this before it gets to freaking yeah. two hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we appreciate it. It's a lively everybody. discussion. We'll uh, debate. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> Hopefully, our, our next podcast will be the the draft. The draft. Maybe we'll talk about nail uh, that again. Maybe some free agencies. Dude, they freaking nailed that. Talk oh, about little Kyler Murray, little Dwayne Haskins, yeah. little, well, little bit of everything. Yeah. Crazy we'll stuff. See. We will see you uh, next time. Yeah.